guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the all new Navi Mao by Segway. That is right, the same robotic lawnmower we saw at CES in the practical fake world. This year is the real world. We'll be actually putting it to the test. Now, if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down below in the description and together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out and even cutting my lawn as well. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and rewind and unbox this thing. Hey guys, so check it out. This is the packaging. This here's the box. Pretty much how it comes. Pretty big box, but does kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what's happening. So it does showcase the product here on the front. This here's an eye series, and this is designed for up to an eighth of an acre in terms of cutting grass. Well, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, so one nice thing to know is that it is actually quite organized. So it does mention you have A, B, and C, uh, and it talks about how to go ahead and remove it, and everything's nicely labeled. All right, so this is everything that we get a lot going on. Uh, you have your robotic mower, obviously, right over here, looking really cool, lightweight. You have a cool looking base station, kind of reminds you like Cosmo Vector kind of deal, uh, in which it actually goes ahead and kind of charges on here too, which is really neat. We have a cap, some accessories, and of course our quick start guide. Let's go ahead and set this thing up next and see what we're working with. It is actually quite simple in terms of design. So this being our robotic lawnmower, we already saw this at CES. So we have an idea of kind of how it works. So you can control it in terms of how deep or how much of a cut you want from the top here. And then if you actually just look at the bottom of the robot mower, we haven't really seen this before. So the way it works is it has these three blades and they're actually like, small blades, they're not, nothing crazy. And this will actually spin, and I guess it spins at a high speed and it'll just kind of like start chopping it based off of that. Now in terms of the control, in terms of the depth goes, so when you rotate this here, it actually lower this versus increasing it. That's all it really is, it just lowers or raises the height. Um, and then these wheels here are just free spinning wheels. And then in terms of majority of the control, it's gonna be these guys right over here. Now these actually have a very unique design in terms of the tires go. So it's designed to go over different dirt and stuff like that. I can imagine it getting kind of dirty overall. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks pretty simple in terms of design concept. You're supposed to hold it from these handles here when you do lift it. Uh, so if you are kind of lifting it about, it says to kind of carry it using these handles on the back. Now, as we kind of look at the robot here, we'll see on this side here, we have our camera. So it knows exactly where it's going. Uh, you have your stop button, you have your play button, and your home button. So it's similar to what you would see in a robotic vacuum. Let's take it out next and set this thing up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and connect to this via Bluetooth for starters. And now that we've successfully connected to it, we can go ahead and start setting this thing up. So this just talks about making sure that we set it up properly, which we already did. All right, so let's go ahead, create ourselves a map. So this is kind of cool. So you have almost like an RC car control thing where you'll be creating a map. And then from there, it'll just go ahead and launch it just based off of that. Okay, and let's go ahead and calibrate it. Ah, oh, look at it go. <laughs> Currently calibrating, as you can see right here, it's kind of scanning the area, making sure that it's safe to go ahead and start scanning. And now what we're gonna do is create our own boundary. So I can drive it just like this. So right now we're in practice mode. So practice mode is kind of getting an idea. How does this thing work? How can we use it? Stuff like that, which is great. And now I can say unpractice. Okay, I'm gonna hit start. So I'm gonna go towards my beginning where I kind of want to start off with, and now I'm gonna be creating my boundary. And now I can add elements in terms of like, for instance, I want to avoid a tree, or if I want to avoid any kind of certain boundary, uh, stuff like that. And then I hit save map. So now it's currently saving the map to the device and then I can quit mapping and then over here you can actually see what's happening so let's go ahead and hit mo so it has begun you can hear it cutting
All right, you can see how it's cutting the larger grass area, making it nice and short. So I believe what it's doing right now is it going over all the larger area in terms of the boundary aspect goes, and then from there it'll be cutting the inside. Again, this is just kind of mapping the parameter before it starts doing the, the actual inside. And then the cool thing about this is on the app, it'll actually show it in real time as it's cutting. <laughs> All right, so it looks like it's going through the middle. Interesting. All right, so it's going back up and down the same exact path. Surprisingly, it's very, very quiet. That's one thing I have to note. Um, you would imagine something like this, like a typical lawnmower would be super duper loud, but this thing's actually pretty quiet for what it is. Now again, showing us in real time exactly what is happening. Um, right now it does show that it has 34% life. Uh, it's got 15% power, uh, progress. And as we continue, you can see how it works. Pretty cool. Alright, so check it out. So this here is the end result. Pretty good actually. If you can see it is quite consistent. I went with the shortest height. So it is actually almost like two inches, I would say, in terms of height wise. Now you can see compared to our neighbor's yard right there, you can see where the cutoff is uh, significantly different. Now this is actually, I would say, a lot better for maintaining a lawn rather than cutting like a larger grass lawn. Uh, and it's kind of difficult cutting it on the edges. I didn't make it go all the way up to the top there, but you can see like over here how it kind of did it. Uh, you would still have to use like a weed whacker, but yeah, I mean, this is actually pretty good for what it is and it is really easy to set up. Now, once again, you know, it's got its own charger station, which you can leave in the outdoors, making it very convenient. The only other issue would be obviously wiring it and kind of doing it that way too. But again, you know, based on how it's set up, it's kind of up to you. Now, another thing to note is you can't really keep this indoors. It has to be outside, especially with the antenna. Technically, you can have the antenna further out, but it should be able to detect it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but you can't have it driving outside from the garage onto the lawn. There is some interference making it quite difficult. Now, another thing that I noticed, it does have some difficulty with hills, particularly inclines like of this nature. It does seem to slide or kind of go over these kind of bigger steps. This makes it a little bit more difficult. So just keep that in mind that it's designed more for flat surfaces. Now, again, I would highly recommend it more for maintaining a lawn rather than cutting a lawn. So you would want to keep using this periodically after you had it like nicely cut. Uh, definitely a great way to keep it nice and fresh throughout. Now, other than that, yeah, hands down, definitely well worth it. I do really think that Segway did a great job with it. Uh, really easy and user friendly without a doubt. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.